Today I'm going to show you my most efficient way on how to screen flats in the UK on the app or the um, website Rightmove and I'm going to place my screen here on the side to show you what I'm doing. So let's begin. When you enter the Rightmove app you go on the top left side there is a for sale sign so you click on that i have already typed something in so at the top you're going to put um where you're going to look so i put uh, go to screen northwest london radius one mile price three hundred thousand. um you can put whatever you like like you can put less you can put more so I've put it to 3,000 here, uh, uh, 300,000 here at the bottom. Then, how many bedrooms do you want? I put at least one bed, no maximum. Um, date added, so if you're just starting your search, I would recommend you put any time. Um, because I'm looking at this app every single day, I usually put 24 hours. But um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put... 14 days so it's fairly new then must-haves I don't put anything but you if you have any must-haves like a garden parking anything on this list you can click on that and then don't show I always put don't show me retirement homes because I won't be able to buy them I'm not old enough yet and so now the important bit starts my most efficient way so at the bottom right hand you click search so the first property we see here is a shared ownership one i'm not interested in that if you're interested you can click on those i've just looked at the second so we're not looking at that so let's have a look at the third so i click on it the first so i'm going to screen this from top to bottom because it's easier to explain things to you but you can do this in any order you like but the most important thing my advice is that you don't immediately look at the pictures because we're very very like almost drawn to look immediately at the pictures it's almost like tinder you don't look at the um, description but you just look at the photos and it's kind of similar here what's inside is more important than what's on the outside i mean both things are important but in this case you can actually get facts whereas on tinder the person decides what they write on their profile sometimes they write nothing which is um, not good <laughs> so anyway uh, i scroll down I go to tenure. Now in this case it says share of freehold. So actually this is not the best example because I want to do this example on a leasehold. Let's go to another one. Let's go to this one, the two bed flat. Yeah, there's a leasehold. So I'm going to click on leasehold and it tells me uh, 125 ground rent, 2700 service charge and length of lease 82. Now, for me personally, and you need to make your own decisions, don't want my service charge to be higher than 1,500. So because this flat has a service charge of 2,700, I could exit this listing, go to the next one, save time. But you need to set your own parameters on yeah, how much you want to spend and what's okay for you. Next one, length of lease, 82. Hmm not great ideally over 100 90 still okay 80 70 not so good so that could also make me exit but for the purpose of this video we're going to continue it says now here council tax band e so the lower um in the alphabet the higher will be uh, what you pay in council tax you need to look up online what exactly you're paying but basically if it's a b c those are the lower ones in price and then um d e f is you're gonna pay more but you have to look up on the council website how much you're actually going to pay then epc click on epc 
APC is about energy efficiency of this flat and that also determines on how much energy cost you're going to have. So let's say let's say it's really bad, it would be G, then your energy cost would be really high. So but it doesn't mean that you can't change it. It will it will tell you here because at the top right it says current and potential. So in this example the energy rating is C, but it could be B. So that's pretty good. Me personally, I don't want to buy a flat that doesn't even have the potential for C. And I could exit here if it was lower and that would, is not, not a potential. Then I look at the map. Is this in an area that I actually like? I mean, do I like this neighborhood? Do I like the streets? Do I not know this neighborhood and I need to visit it so I can have a look? And then I can have a look at the nearest stations and it tells me how far I would be from those stations, which is really good information. So at either of those steps, you could have exited and go to the next one and save time if you didn't like any of this. I also want to tell you that sometimes when you click on leasehold, now in this case it gives you all the information, but in a lot of other cases it will just say ask agent, ask agent, ask agent and you don't get any information. And if that was the case, you would scroll down to view full description, click on it and read through it. And then here at the bottom, often it states the information there. Sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it does. So that's where I would go looking if it wasn't there. Let's look at one more just for fun. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, we've got a two bad here. <clears throat> I go to leasehold. Oh, service charge is also pretty high, at least for me. Length of lease is all right, 150 ground rent. If it says zero, I'm not always sure if it's actually true or if they just don't have the information, you have to double check. Then, oh, actually what I forgot is um, after I checked the things that we just discussed, of course, before I go to the pictures, I actually go to floor plan because I have some personal preferences and I also always check what is the gross internal area so in this case it's 57 square meters for me that's pretty good maybe you want something bigger or smaller i like a kitchen that is separated from the living room that's the case here so i quite like this layout but you have to think about what sort of layout you like so looking at the layout is a very good idea also I have some preferences when it comes to the floor. So I want to be on the first, second or third floor. So whenever I read ground floor, I click, like I exit and um, I go to the next property. And yeah, those are pretty much all the things I check. Just to quickly summarize it, First I go to leasehold, I check everything, then I go to council tax band, then I go to EPC, map view, view nearest stations, back up to floor plan, and then if I could imagine that this could be something, I have a look at the pictures and see how does this look for me. Also of course you can read the full description which I always do when I'm interested, but to be honest, it's usually blah, blah, blah. The facts are stated where we looked at them. The agent here in the full description is just trying to make any flat sound good, of course, because they want to sell it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.